Hi, I'd like to talk a little bit about heart disease. I, uh, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that uh, I'd had triple bypass surgery. And in this video, I'd like to tell you why I had triple bypass surgery. Now, uh, the, the, the story begins with, with my dog here. Uh, she, <laughs> she, uh, she was abandoned uh, by our neighbors next door and they lost their house. And after three weeks in the backyard, we realized there was a dog back there. And she was uh, pretty much skin and bones. You ever seen that dog on the Haunted Mansion in uh, Disneyland? That real skinny one in the graveyard? Well, that's kind of what she looked like. And uh, fortunately, it was raining because uh, uh, she had water. Anyway, I knocked out a fence plank and invited her over. And she was really afraid of us at first. But she's gotten over that now. Anyhow, um, uh, she's, my, uh, she's my little sweetheart doggy. Well, while we were looking for a home for her, uh, I decided to get back in shape. So I started running with her, and I got left arm pain, and the next thing I know, uh, you know, I figured I should get it checked out, so I went into the doctor, and the next thing I know, I'm having triple bypass surgery uh, at 49 years old, and uh, with no risk factors. I've never had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, I've never smoked, I've never been overweight, my diet was good. Uh, I was like the poster child for the guy that shouldn't have heart disease. In fact, I've run two marathons. And uh, so, of course, you know, the question is, why in the world did, did I end up having to have triple bypass surgery at 49? I mean, that's pretty young. Well, when I went to investigating it, me and my cardiologist, uh, we found out that uh, there's another type of cholesterol out there called lipoprotein A. And the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of 50-year-olds have been dying here lately with Michael Jackson and Billy Mays and stuff. And, and I thought, you know, I wonder if maybe their lipoprotein A levels were high like mine. Normal is, uh, from what I've read anyway, I'm not a doctor, but normal seems to be between somewhere between 14 and 30. Mine was 259. And uh, I, I wonder just how rare this is. I, I'm thinking it may not be as rare. I read a study at the Mayo Clinic, and they said early onset coronary artery disease, uh, the best predictor for it is lipoprotein A levels. And uh, I read another article uh, from a cardiologist from Johns Hopkins, and two of their doctors there had uh, to have bypass surgery uh, in their 40s, and uh, just like I did, and neither of them had risk factors either, normal risk factors. I would like to, to just kind of raise the alarm on this. Uh, I think more research needs to be done on this because there's no medication that uh, treats lipoprotein A except for, for niacin, and you've got to take that in massive doses, and it really doesn't knock it down that much. So um, I thought I would uh, bring it up in hopes that uh, uh, you know, if somebody's having symptoms, perhaps you get that checked and... Uh, um, and get treatment. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.